people look at stories through different lenses. I have my own take on some of these trending issues. Hi, I'm Mariah Ramharak and welcome to In Case You Missed It. Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of In Case You Missed It on Sportsmax and Scene TV. In today's episode, I'll be chatting with a man who does the backflip whenever he takes a wicket. He was recently a part of the Guyana Hoppy Eagles team that won the 2024 West Indies Championship title. This win secured back-to-back -back regional 40 titles for Guyana and seven titles in the last nine years for the country. Well, let's welcome Kevin Sinclair to In Case You Missed It. Hi, Kevin. How are you doing? Congratulations on that West Indies Championship title. Yeah, um, thanks for having me. Um, good day from where I am to all the viewers, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely a good feeling, you know, about the, that championship. And thanks for having me once again here. Yeah. yeah, are you back in Guyana? Where in the world are you, Kevin? Yeah, I'm in Guyana right now participating in this T10, local T10 uh, the Guyana Cricket Board, you know, that's out for us as players, you know, to, you know, showcase our talents once again. Yeah, and it, it must be really, really exciting. But I want to go back to that win because I have to ask you, have you been able to sit down, you know, process this win? It must feel good because Guyana has been dominating, Kevin, back-to-back -back regional for the titles for your country. Uh, yeah, definitely, um, the victory... I don't think it, it's sunk in as yet, you know what I mean? Um, for me, it's something really special. I know the hard work we have as a team and as a group has been putting in over the years. You know, being champion is not something easy. Um, we've trained hard. We've gelled together for a very long time. And to get this success once again as a young unit speaks, you know, volume, you know? Yeah. You speak about the team, I can tell you're a team man, but I'd like you to, you know, just evaluate your own personal performance now that it's done and dusted. Do you feel like you got what you wanted to do? Did you get that accomplished? Uh, yeah, I'm satisfied with my performance, but for me, looking back at it, I think another century in there would have been really good, you know, as a as a, as a end of the season. I just think uh, I... I felt one shy of a century in that tournament, but yet still I'm really grateful for my performance, you know, and the team winning as well. You know, I'm really happy with my contribution towards that, that success. How important is it, Kevin, that your entire team uh, really stepped up to the plate and got the job done? Because what I noticed from your initial reply is, you know, you spoke about the team, the team effort. How important was it that everybody did what they had to do and contributed to this win? Uh, for me, it's more of a team team achievement for me. Uh, everybody contributed at different point in time. You know, every every game, someone you know stand out and do something really spectacular for the team. Uh, what is me, Imla, Moti, Pomal? You know, every guy, every day, every given time and every opportunity when we are under pressure someone you know taking up the mantle and deliver for the team and that was something good as well speaking about the team in general because i think it was a wrong team effort in that championship win yeah and tevin imlak you mentioned him your captain i interviewed him after the win how was it with him as leader uh him tevin imlak you know i really really admire his leadership you know he kept us you know, focus on and everything. That was something really special from him. And to see a, a guy with, with a guy that young, you know, could, you know, keep us grounded and keep us focused in what we want to achieve. You know, whether we had a bad session or a bad, you know, batting or bowling display, you know, he kept us together. And that was good for me. I think he has a bright future as a leader. And he, you know what he's doing? Yeah. I can tell you, yeah. Right. And, you know, in our interview with him, he said, Kevin is someone you go to war with. Your response to those words from your skipper, he believes if he's going to a war, he has to take you with him, Kevin. 
Uh, for me, I think you know I have the ability. Believe in me. He's someone. He's actually my my brother, so to speak. He's close to me. You know my ability. Believe in me. You know every time, like when I fail and stuff, he always tell me, "Don't doubt, don't doubt yourself. You know, just go out and play in a natural game. You're a good player." And for me, I think he he see that kind of fighting spirit in me. That's what I can say right now. Yeah. Yeah, he's really really proud of you, Kevin. Did you always want to be a cricketer? When did you fall in love with the sport? Yeah, I always want to be a cricketer and play at the highest level. Uh, I fell in love with the game at a ten age, ten age of seven, actually. You know, playing in the backlands with, with my grandfather, where where we had the kids and stuff. You know, playing cricket. You know, so this is when I fell in love with the with the game. Yeah, now you of, are of course a professional cricketer, and I want to go back to that Test debut against Australia that was earlier this year where you scored a half century in the eight run win in the second test versus Australia. How was it being a part of history from playing cricket in the backyard by your grandparents to of course making history, Kevin? Uh, yeah, that was, that was, a, was an amazing feeling, you know what I mean? I must say kudos to Shamar Joseph, you know, in, in his performance as well. Um, and I felt really good, you know, to contribute to something that historic, you know, I mean, it's something really special, and I, I would always cherish that that moment and that and that special day in my heart very closely, you know, to pull off something like that as a team and as a as a young team, you know, people like shattered us out and you know, like oh, we are lamb, lamb for the slaughters and all these words, you know. So we are motivated as a young team. Uh, I think the captain. Craig Batres was real was really good, you know, in terms of keeping us calm. Uh, Kima Roach as well, keeping us calm yeah. on and out of the field. So it was a total team effort once again, I must say. But to be be a part of something that that historic, really special. Yeah, and you just mentioned Shamar Joseph, and you know, after that tour, everybody was speaking about Shamar Joseph. Everybody wanted a piece of Shamar Joseph. What's so special about Shamar, seeing that you got to play alongside him, right? He, he has now been named in the T20 World Cup squad. Is he as special as everybody thinks he is? Oh, uh, yeah. He grounded, you know, he very grounded. Uh, we actually played under 23 together. When I was more younger, we played um, club cricket together. I think he he's someone really special. Um, for me, I just want you to remain grounded and, you know, just don't... You know, get too much in the hype as well. You know what I mean? But for me, he's grounded, very passionate about this game. You know, a lover for the sport of cricket, and someone who you know has dreams of being you know one of the best fast bowler in the West Indies. And I think he's heading in the right direction. So for me, yeah, he's really a special talent. Yeah. All right. And what are your thoughts, Kevin, on Test cricket? Many people feel like this format is losing its true value. Do you agree? Uh, no, never. I don't think Test cricket would ever die. You know, I mean, Test cricket will always stand as the highest level of cricket. Every youngster wants to play Test cricket and play at the highest level. I don't think, you know, Test cricket will ever die. I think that's the ultimate. Uh, I went, I had a, you know, had a taste of it. You know what I mean? I would continue to push you to play Test cricket. Uh, for you be out there in a test match, you could actually feel every moment, you know, the crowd, you know, the little competition that you would get. So it tests you around as a player and as an individual. And I say test cricket will always, you know, live on. Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason they call it test cricket. And you said it tests you, of course. So, you know, it's a longer format of the game and really true lovers of cricket enjoy yeah. test cricket. So, Kevin, it's now time for a quick break on In Case You Missed It. When we return, we'll find out more about you and this backflip celebration. Welcome back to In Case You Missed It. Today I'm chatting with Windy's all-rounder, Kevin Sinclair. So Kevin, a question that has been on my mind. Did you do gymnastics as a kid? Because you have to explain this backflip celebration for me. Uh, yeah, I practice it, you know, in the backlands in my area, you know. It's always a trademark for my area, so that's why I did it, you know what I mean? Uh, for me, 
it's something that I practiced from since I was a tender age, eight years old, you know, in, in the back, like I mentioned. But for me, doing it on the field, something from an area that I that I always represent, you know, Angus Avenue, that's where I grew up all my life, playing cricket, playing, you know, with the youngsters in the in the area. So it's a trademark celebration of my area. Okay, but when did you decide that this will be the celebration when you take a wicket? Did you plan it before? No, actually, I used to do it uh, in my in my early days playing cricket. When I get a wicket, you know, I just run and just do it, you know. So it stick with me from since then, yeah. and it's something that I always, you know, do whenever I get a wicket, you know. So yeah. What I will say is the fans, of course, they love it. I remember you did it during a CPL tournament and the entire stadium went wild. The next question for you, Kevin, in our interview, how much has your game changed from when you made your T20 international debut in 2021? We're now in 2024. How, have you seen any major changes? Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I have seen changes in my uh, wrong game. Uh, I, I really started off as a bowler for my batting, you know, it's coming and, I, and I'm really happy that it's coming true, you know, I mean, I've been working hard on my own game and to see, you know, one part of it, you know, really coming to the forefront and really contributing, you know, to, to whatever team I play with, whether it's West Indies or Guyana. So I must say, yeah, my game has really, you know, been coming to the fore in terms of my own game, yeah. Yeah, and as we're talking T20 cricket, what are your thoughts on the recently named T20 World Cup squad? Uh, for me, I think it's a good team, balance. Uh, so for me, my my word is, you know, they're going to go out there and just give the best. You know I mean? Anyone representing West Indies at R, definitely going to give the best. And I think it's a good team and a balanced team. And I think they, they're going to do us very, very well. Kevin, were you disappointed when you didn't see a name? Uh, obviously not. You know I mean? Things like that do happen, but at the end of the day, we're going to support West Indies and West Indies cricket at the end of the day. So hopefully, next time wrong, my name will be in that in the setup. Yeah, and all of us will be rooting for you and my favourite, that backflip celebration. Do you think the West Indies, though, can go on to win the World Cup with this squad that has been named? Uh, yeah, definitely. And I have confidence in the in the team. I mean, they have a good leader there, Rob Powell. Yeah. And I think he has a, a good head on his shoulder so i feel he's gonna get the guys up and ready and i think you know with the with the leadership of um darren sammy as well you know two-time you know world champions as well so i think they have a a good unit there and a good team that can pull it off so i i'm very much confident in the guys and and whenever they take the field i know they're gonna give Give us the art. So, yeah, definitely, I'm up. I have confidence in the team. Yeah. yeah, and all of us will be rallying around the West Indies. Well, another competition, the Caribbean Premier League, which is usually live on Sports Max, it's slowly approaching. Are you looking forward to that, the biggest party in sport, and to see which team you'll end up at? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to CPL this year. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm working hard behind the scene on my, on, my, on my game as well, leading up to that. So, yeah, I'm really much looking forward to it. And I I know it's going to be an exciting year for me and the team, <laughs> whatever team I play with. So I know it's going to be very exciting because CPL, you know, brings out new talent. You know what I mean? And it's always something good to be a part of every year. And have you set yourself any goals with regards to your career just for the rest of this year? Uh, definitely, but um, for me, I just, wherever tournament or wherever, you know, competition, I mean, I just look to contribute around, when I say around, my bowling, batting and feeling, so for me, that's it, just stick with the basic. Yeah, basics and nothing else. Anything you'd like to say to the viewers who continue to support you, they enjoy the celebrations every time you take a wicket. Uh, yeah, uh, my, my word to the uh, fans, to my fans, my loyal fans, you know, keep supporting me. You know, I love the support over the years that that have, that have been, you know, out there and the, the inbox messages as well, you know, to keep me going. So for my thing to them is just continue to support me and I love the support from them. So, yeah, hats off to them and I must say the word of encouragement goes a long way, definitely. 
Yeah, well, Kevin, one more quick break and when we return, it's rapid fire time. All right, welcome back to In Case You Missed It. It's now time for our rapid fire segment. This is where I ask you a question and Kevin, you'll say the first word or phrase that comes to mind. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, you have to be quick, okay? T20, yeah. okay. T20, ODI or test? Yes. <laughs> Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. Favorite Guyanese dish? Patros chicken and sweet potato. Oh my, that sounds good. I've never had it. So, Kevin, if you were not a cricketer, what profession would you pursue? Business one. A business? What type of business? I want to know. <laughs> one that brings a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> All right. Who was the last person you texted? My mother. All right. Night in or night out? Night in. Describe your fashion sense in one word. <laughs> <laughs> one uh, word. I, have a, I, have a lot of, I have a lot of style that I use. <laughs> okay, just one yeah. word. Uh... I just say suits. Oh, okay, suits. All right. Most memorable moment of your career so far? Scoring a 50 at a Gabo. Yeah, that was recently as well. So our viewers can remember that one. Now, if you had to trade places with a cricketer for one day, who would it be? Brian Lara. Oh my, BC Lara. Who's your funniest teammate, Kevin? Kimal Savory. Is he that funny? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that was some fun. I got the opportunity to laugh at you and with you. We're going to head across now, Kevin, as we wrap the interview to social media to see what's been trending. So there's this graphic um, from Vivek Yadav, and he said, Kevin Sinclair with a 50 on test debut. Well batted, young man. West Indies end with 311, having batted 108 overs. That's a W in my opinion. When ball became soft, batting became a bit easier. Windies need to be on the money with the new ball. Anything you want to say to Vivek and what he had to say? I want to say thanks to him for his comment, you know what I mean? <laughs> right now I'm speechless, but I really much, you know, Appreciate this comment, that's all. Yeah, Brad also said, I remember as a youngster, we both fared and worshipped the awesome Windies. Kevin Sinclair celebrates his first test wicket with a backwards somersault, having flashbacks. And he posted that picture of you off the ground. Uh, it's a really cool picture. Kevin, a comment for him? Like, I, like I just mentioned, speechless, but yeah, yet still I appreciate those comments. Um, it's a trademark celebration and to, to hear someone do that, you know, something special, yeah. Yeah. Well, Kevin, I want to thank you so much for your time. All the best, and I really enjoyed chatting with you. I know you have a cricket match to get to, so I just want you to know I appreciated the time that you took to do this interview. Thank you, and thank you very much. all the best, yeah. All right, viewers. Well, that's a wrap for today's episode of In Case You Missed It. Be sure to like, share and comment and let me know how much you enjoyed hearing from Kevin Sinclair. Goodbye for now.